Cause then is this like? I think it's like we all meet up, and then um, Sakaguchi just shows up, and he's all like, "Hmm, I'm not going to be important for anything later on." And he totally is because you fight him like four times in this fucking game. Jesus Christ. It would be nice though. Apparently, like you fight Zenyan like all far out. I think. Cause I did fight I did fight him in Rindrout off screen, but it was literally the same. And literally nothing would change until like um Um until like afterwards. And then you get to go <laughs> and then you get to patrol with Rin and then all stuff happens. Alright, it doesn't even matter. Yeehaw! Let's fight! Whatever that means. <laughs> Is this where well hang on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's late. I know it's later on in another time. You do um, um, you do um, what's his head? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I, I, just, yeah, I don't, I don't know, dude. Dude, I haven't done like a single like side quest or anything. You know, like I haven't done like anything. Apparently, you need to do that for um, Nana's route, like. What are they? You do like summon for side quests, but they're only available at a certain time though, so I'm gonna have to like look that uh, crap up. Okay. Well, anyways, like now, now all I have to do is just mash one button at a time, and then we will get to the end. <laughs> so in the meantime, I guess we could just talk about things. Like what though? <laughs> what is there to talk about? Fuck, man. <laughs> I guess um. Okay, so. Hey Nick, so how do you spend your free time besides making videos? Well, you know, I've been playing this goddamn addicting game called Fire Emblem Fates. Like, literally, I've been doing that non bloody stuff. So, like, so every time I get off work stuff, it's usually, this is my normal regimen now. I just go home, I do chores and crap, and then, um. Oh, hang on, I actually need to concentrate on this crap. Okay, so pretty much I just go home, you know, do chores and everything, and then I lay in bed, and I play Fire Emblem for god knows how many hours straight. So let me see here, so, um, so let's see, I've done, I've done two runs of Conquest, um, I'm on my second Birthright playthrough, and I've already done Revelation at least once. Yeah, so pretty much what I just do every t every time is just play something different, like two different pairs. And, um, yeah, just <laughs> and you know, not playing hard classic like a man, <laughs> hard lunatic because I'm a Fire Emblem Awakening. <laughs> I'm a Fire Emblem Awakening um baby. And what I mean by that is that when I I got into the game via Fire Emblem Awakening. And God bless casual mode, or else I probably wouldn't have continued with the series. <laughs> it's true too. That's the sad part too. Like if that if that mode called casual mode didn't exist, <laughs> yeah. And then we're like, yeah, we're the best. And no, no, no. What are you doing? Holy shit! I actually didn't pick the right one this time. I remember what was it? It was like, I think it was like um, I can't remember if it was like either um. If it was um, Tokos, or even in Rin Route, I always chose the right answer anyways. I don't know what it is though. Oh shit. This is my loser friend and dumbass twin. Hey look, more fighting. Okay. And so pretty much like, if anyone's actually watching this, like, <laughs> like real talk here, if anyone's actually watching this, and actually plays Fire Emblem 2, like, what are your pairs? I'm actually interested because I always like to do some uncreative ones, and then I like doing some for Jean, <laughs> for Jean purposes. Yeah, because I want to make the best babies. Well, not necessarily, just want to make them off the wall babies. I have a friend, a really hard hard friend, who's like, he resets the game every time he gets a fail fish level up, as in when he gets only one stat level up, and like, <laughs> and um. Uh, hang on, what was it? Yeah, every time you get that happen. And then I know there are people who are like that too. Like, it's like, well, if I get a shitty level up, 
Time to reset. I could not live with myself if I had to do that. Like, Jesus, can you imagine how many resets you have to do? There are some characters that just don't get good level ups, period. So, let's see here. So the first time... I remember uh, the first time I... Oh, God. A <laughs> little funny story. I messed up when I first played a uh, Fates because I started with Conquest. And I'm not gonna lie, the reason why I played Conquest first because, um... Because, um, I was looking at the character roster. Uh, when the game was still kind of coming out, though, I, you know, I wasn't a big fan back then. I just wanted to look at the roster. I found this amazing image on Tumblr, just randomly, because um, I searched up Fire Emblem Fates characters though, and it showed this amazing Tumblr uh, image where it's like, oh, fuck this guy. Okay, whatever, dude. And we'll we'll body him real quick. Where it's like, it has the entire roster of characters from both sides and some random. <laughs> oh God, it was already over already. And um, it also shows um, some units you can uh, capture too. And it's like um, I don't know. Like if you find it, it's 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 a hilarious picture. It's like it has stuff like uh, Ryoma is Weeb Nissan, Camilla is like Titties Nachan. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, oh god, that shit's hilarious, dude. Oops, 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 oops. He comboed me. I don't appreciate that, buddy. So I was looking at that image, and then I found this one beautiful girl in Conquest. And oh shit, that was shit was, shit was free. Oh wait, you have to. Oh yeah, that's what I thought though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So, um, there's this beautiful red-haired girl, twin tails, and her character, you know, the character's name is Selena, and underneath it, it says literally Severa. And I was just like, wait, who's who's that? So I looked it up. Apparently, she was she's Cordelia's kid, and I never knew about that actually when I played Awakening. Cause in Awakening, I kind of rushed through, powered through the game because I wanted to get ready for Fates. So, <clears throat> so that happened. I married um Darja in Awakening, so I didn't actually know about um Cordelia's kid, who is Severa. Because <laughs> I was just like, because I'm like, <coughs> excuse me. Because I was like, who's the Sundari of Fire Emblem Awakening? I must marry her. And then, um, yeah, unfortunately, like, a friend of mine did say it was Mirabelle. She was kind of Sundari. And I was just like, oh, I hate Mirabelle. And she died in almost every single fight. And I was, I, ah, I did with her because I was still pretty bad at the game. And the AI just always kills my healers. Fuck, that game's AI is just retarded. And by retarded, I mean retardedly smart. <laughs> Both games, Fate and Awakening. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, damn, that... It's like, um... It's like a... Oh, it's like an Oyakodon, except with egg on top. I forget what you call that. So anyways, like... <laughs> So anyways, there's nothing related to Xion like later on, so I'm just gonna fast forward this crap. <laughs> Prototype, but yeah, I saw that crap. Shit was funny. Oh, it was, it was, um... Dude, let's, yeah, let's get some food. Oh god, you're all, you're all losers. Oh god, is this the part where like... Toko just gives you some real talk and says, hey, you know, we'll always be friends. I'm like, no! <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, I don't think it'll... Oh, geez, I don't think the game will let me. Yeah, I, I think the game wouldn't let me, like, leave uh, Akiba through that way. Because if you go through the train route or whatever, though, you, like, you know, you end the game. <laughs> and he was never heard from again. It's like you just magically leave Akiba forever. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, like on to the uh, Fire Emblem story. Um, so I looked up Severa and found out that, wow, they're the Sundari I've always wanted. And after reading like some of her support comms and a little bit of character info. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, she's totally, a, I know. 
He's a Zundir, and I'm just like, yes, I found the love of my life. So, when I found out that Selena is literally Zavira, you know, I just decided to play Conquest first. Well, it made me frustrated the first, like, a lot of times, because, you know, Conquest is supposed to be, uh, harken back to the older games, where things are harder. <laughs> things are harder, you don't have chances to grind, like in Awakening. And, um... You have limited money sources and everything. So, oh god, the game is lagging here. There's too much on screen! You know, I'm just gonna spam circle. Or I can just spam X. Yeah, so that's <coughs> so that's my story with that. And then I married Selena. And then it was how I imagined it would be. <laughs> I was actually kind of disappointed with our support comp though with Bates. Well, then again, it's not that much better in uh, an Awakening. Because in Awakening, she's all like, You're a terrible leader, and I'm gonna... Prove that you're wrong, Robin. And then in Fates, it's like, you know, I can't find my Yukata! And I'm gonna spend like two whole support comps just like bitching about it. And then finally, like, I actually might care about you. Cause like, um, and like, I think it, it might be an A rank where she's like, well, you know, if I have any extra material, I might make you one. And I'm like, yes, 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 that's right, that's right, that's why I like to see. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, yes. You see all that lag, dude? Oh god. This is what. Okay, now, this is like a good example of having too much on screen. Games that just. They just love doing that for some reason. Especially near the end where you have to do all that. Where you're like fighting just before the final boss and everything. Like, there's that huge army of synthesis. I'm just gonna do this. And then yeah, pretty much in Fates I just, um, in Conquest I married, um, Selena. Lived happily ever after, <laughs> for the Sundari of my dreams. Ah. And then like later on I kind of just picked like whoever. Um, cause what I do. I've done, let's see, I've done Selena. I've done Felicia, I've done, um, Kaldori, who's, who's literally Cordelia. <laughs> yeah, um, who else did I do? And, uh, Raj, uh, Rajat, who's literally Tharja. <laughs> so pretty much the Awakening cast, like half of the Awakening cast. I'll, I've also played as a girl too, it, it's really awkward. Like, it's really awkward to have a boy in your private quarters and, you know, bond. So, you know, I like girls. <laughs> let me see, what did I marry a big girl though? I married, I married Ryoma, Niles, I think that's it though. I think I even married Ratchet as a, as a girl too because, you know, you can, you can gay fuck it. <laughs> that was also part of that chart too. It even tells you like who you can marry and who you can't marry and whose kids belong to who. And under um, Rajat, it's you know literally Tharja and you can gay fuck it, which means no matter what gender you are, what no, no yeah. you can fuck it no matter what gender you are. Yeah, pretty hilarious actually. Yeah, so I pretty much I've been doing that since launch. Fire Emblem since launch. God damn it. And it just never, it just, it just never stopped. <laughs> oh, I missed it. What's, that's a bitchy thing to say. Well, I mean, like, I mean, we've, we've done this before, though. Oh, maybe we should ask their boss. Yeah, that's a good idea. Next time she comes into the bar, we'll do exactly that. Anyway. Seems like Rin knows Shizuku too, so... So maybe they're related or something. I don't know. Maybe if we went back in time and watched like the old videos. <laughs> if we watched the old videos, maybe we would know about that too. Yeah, I know. I know. If only, right? It's probably like listing all the Sega locations. I like the Sega Arcade and Akiba. At least I think it is though. I'm not sure. Huh, so wait, do we have to actually rescue Shion at this point? You saw Rin being chased by hell's that Also? That's... Yes, yes, enough 
Here, oh god, no. Take it too. She's a no! Shit, I forgot about this! Oh god, strip striptism. No, God, don't put no. What? Okay. I. What? <laughs> There's no way I can do this. I don't know the first thing about striprism. No worries. We can appreciate all forty-seven episodes of it right now. Jesus Christ! That how many seasons is that? That's at least like quadruple a like quadruple season. And apparently, like our Shudden sister is also a big um. Anime fan too. Oh, that's okay. We all pretend the last episode never happened. Why? Did something shitty happen in it, or what? Now, may I? This is oh, the God. story of three magical girls who protect the peace of Akiba. Their names are Suzu Toen, Toka Kisumi, and Lily Omi. The show's broadcast stopped three years ago, but there are still many fans today. Damn, just how many, like... I'm kind of thinking to myself, how many Magical Girl series are there actually are right now? And then it's like, episode one. And then we're like... Wow, can't believe it took ten episodes before the three of them joined forces. <laughs> yeah, stuff. right? Whoever whoever wrote this show probably had, like, shitty plot design or like something. Like, halfway through. And then we watched it's, the entire one. It's over. After 18 long hours... It's over. <laughs> and she got a million to it. God, what a, I know. God, what a bunch of losers. I know, like, there's a zombie apocalypse going on right now. Shouldn't we be worrying about that? Like, what? Okay. Now, I guess you can actually, like. Okay. I will accompany you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Assist me. Cause I remember last time, like I remember um, when I first did this though, I, oh my god, I, I went solo and had so much trouble. Uh, well wait, 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 maybe I actually am supposed to go solo. Shit, maybe I am. So hang on, let me just, um, let me just dump her behind. In that case. Please call on me again. No. No, Kati. Stay where you belong. On the bench. Okay, there you go. So you are supposed to go solo. Okay, so... Okay, never mind. For some reason, I thought you had to actually have somebody. In, um... The first time around. Okay, well... Well, this is gonna be annoying, but I can handle it. Oh, shit. Oh shit, yeah. That's hard to react, I'm sorry. Camera's not the best angle, but hey. Can't. Okay, I'm just gonna swing my sword around. I'm gonna hit them eventually. I mean... I mean, sure, they're doing damage to me, but... But I'm doing more damage to them than they ever will do. Fuck! Fuck, stop! Stop! Sorry, you assholes. Bring it. Come on. Oh, please. Yeah, exactly. Oh, please. See, it kind of sucks me. I really wish there were, like, AoE attacks in this game. It really would make stripping these guys so much easier. Oh, come on. Alright, you know what? Here, let's just do it. Oh, after I can know that one. Okay, no. Beep. 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 I really don't know how cat ears are supposed to protect you from the sun and all, but hey, you gotta have something on, right? It's called protection. Let's go. Indeed. Whoosh. Nothing to sunlight with you. <laughs> yeah, so where's, like, 
Jesus Christ, where where do we actually get some more Xion? Jesus Christ, man. I assume like Oh god, I, I have a feeling that like after the Zenya fight It's pretty much like the the checkpoint or like the halfway point or something. Oh god. Oh god, here we here we go. There's some more fudge. <laughs> okay, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna stop the video right here, and I'm gonna see if there's anything different like later on, though. So, yeah, I'm just only gonna do this to save time for me and for you. Okay. So, anyways, in the next episode, we will figure out if we'll find anything different. <laughs> so, yeah.